you know, it seems like these kinds of video beginnings are happening more and more often. Uh, you all are sending more and more things, it seems. I'm doing these videos and it just uh, blows my mind. I've got packages here. Now, one of these things I ordered, but the rest came to the P.O. box and uh, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I can't wait to share whatever is in here with all of you. So let's get right on into it. And thank you in, to, in advance to everyone because I'll just keep blowing my mind. It's amazing. So thank you so much. This, uh, I can tell who this is from. This is from uh, Suez. Actually, you know what? I have read that name so many times, but have not ever actually pronounced it. It's uh, S-E-W-W-E-S. They're from Denmark. They're actually working on a competitive league over there, I believe. And uh, they said they wanted to send a patch my way, which I'm always excited about. So let's get in here. We've got some stickers. Yes. Oh, cards as well. But it is in uh, their... It's not in English. So unfortunately, I will not be able to read them. But I'm definitely... Stoked about the stickers because I'm going to sticker bomb a blaster. Ooh, and there's the patch. That is a cool looking patch. That's going to go up on the board for sure. I am amped about that. Thank you so much for sending this my way overseas and everything. That is awesome. I love, I just want to put this out there. I love getting like even just letters from people. It doesn't need to be like a box or, or something like that. Like just reading things from people is fantastic and I love it and uh you know even little things like stickers patches like just all of it is amazing to me and I will always be thankful and appreciative uh, because it just kind of blows my mind so let's uh let's get to the next one this it's a familiar sticker it's the foam technician we just talked about some of his parts in the video last Thursday I wonder what's in this. Now, I knew I was getting the last stuff. I have no clue what is in this one. So uh, let's, let's go ahead and dig on in. I'm, I'm just, I'm curious. What else, what else could he send? More than he already sent. Got the stock that I'm still waiting to use on something that I'm excited about. And what, what else? I am, uh, I am. Oh. Oh my, are you, are you kidding? So we've got more speed loaders. Okay, so we've got, um, okay, let's read this first. We, we've got to read this first, because what in the... Hey, Jangular, I've come up with some updated parts since I sent you the last package, so here they are. I wanted to make sure you had the latest parts for your Kronos build. I've also included some Molly speed loader holders because I noticed you like Molly gear. Ooh. Uh, the dual speed loader clip that I sent in the last package might have had a bit of a loose fit. So there is a replacement in this one. Sincerely, Tetsu Foam Technician. P.S. I love the videos when you cover competitive nerf, doing great things for Lobby. Oh, thank you so much, Tetsu. This, this, like the fact that you enjoy the videos especially about competitive nerve, makes me uh, really happy because I love, love that stuff. Uh, I just, there's so many people doing amazing things in this hobby. You're doing great things in this hobby, making this cool stuff. Anybody creating things or sharing things in this hobby is doing great things. And that's one of the things I love is just how much we share uh, with each other in the community and, and all of that. So I... Thank you. This is, huh? Okay, so he's got like a, a dot site for the for the Chronos or or any Picatinny rail actually. I would assume that we can put on there, which is sweet. And then these are the Picatinny. Ooh, that's an interesting Molly adapter. It's actually screwed in. That is very. Huh. Okay, that's going to be very interesting to mess with. So that's neat and unique. And something... Oh, and we've got another one of the rail mounted. And another one of the molly. Okay. I feel ridiculously spoiled. And I cannot 
cannot overstate that. So we have an updated, I believe, door delete mod. I think this one actually will sync up. Yes, it syncs up perfectly with his speed loader. So you can just slot that right in and drop your rounds in. So that's absolutely awesome. Okay, I, um, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, thank you. I, I mean, I, what, uh, what else do I say? At the, like, I can't eat, I can't, I can't, I can barely fit it all in my hands. Like this is, the Kronos is, is right over here on the table, um, resting. We have to wait a certain amount of time before we can work on it again, if that gives you an idea of what's potentially going on with it. But I am very excited to have, it's, it's gonna be a decked out Kronos now. I'm pretty excited. Okay, how many times am I gonna say that? Okay, I, I, we gotta move on. This, this I ordered. This is from Out of Darts Shop. Uh, so this I ordered from, I wanted to place an order on his new website and there were some things I needed to pick up already. So it made the most sense to me. What is this? What, what did I, is that right? I'm already, I've already forgotten exactly what I ordered. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Out of Darts sticker, awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. I love the little cardstock things that, that Out of Darts puts in his, his stuff. That is, all right. So we've got a Foam Blast style mag release uh, because I, well, I should, you know what? I should discuss why I made this this purchase from Out of Darts. And we have some black high crush worker wheels. I am going to be doing a tournament build for my Strife. I want something that is going to be my go-to blaster for tournaments, not necessarily like the Fabu Strife, which is something that I did some aesthetic work to, the paint job and all of that, uh, that I would be concerned about thrashing around. I want something that I can just beat up, not worry about it, and just go all out with it. So we're gonna do something with a modulus strife as the base and uh, maybe a little bit of paint, not a ton. So we're trying some things out here. I also picked up um, an extended battery cover for the worker swordfish, so I can put some lipo batteries in there and a couple more of the out of darts switch plates for the strife. In here is, uh, what's in here? It's worker box. What did I order that, how am I, oh, that's right, okay. Wow, I'm not, I'm already forgot the things I placed in order for a couple days ago and a white stock to go with the modulus white strife. So we're gonna kinda go for a predominantly white, maybe a little bit of blue and pink here and there, but not a ton. I, like I said, I, I want this to be uh, like my, my tournament build, something that I can just thrash around and go hard with and not, uh, be super concerned about keeping in pristine mint condition. Oh, uh, mint condition. So we got that. That was our order from Out of Darts. Uh, his new shop was nice. I like his new website. Boop. One last thing. This, where'd my knife go? This is something that I cannot believe I'm getting. Uh, the wonderful maker of the Foxfire system sent me a message and said, uh, I've got a build coming your way and that kind of blew my mind as do a fair number of things apparently. Uh, but we had talked a little bit at End War and you know, this is one of the things that I've had my eye on since I talked about it on, uh, um, on This Week in Nerf. And it's like, you know, I, I when the shop goes up, I, I wanna, I want to buy one. I think I want to, you know, when I have the money and I can do so, it's a cool system that I think is, could be fun to invest in. Uh, now we never got back in contact until he messaged me and said, Hey, I've got one finished and it's coming your way, which was awesome. Um, and, uh, let's, let's see here. Oh, 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 oh. oh my. Oh, that. 
That is cool. Okay. So we've got... <clears throat> for those of you that don't know, before we get too far into this, this is a blaster that you can break down into several different modules. It, it comes apart into the core, the grip part right here, the magwell, and the flywheel assembly. This, oh boy, oh, he sent me a two-stage flywheel assembly. So there's two stages, a two-stage cage in this front right here. In the core, he sent the full auto core. This is a three-switch setup uh, with a gearbox into a yoke um, pusher like the Rapid Strike. And uh, then he's got the full-size mag magwell right here. Oh, that's a nice click. Oh, that's satisfying. Uh, he also has his design here for a extra mag to hold in the side that you can top off on the fly while you're working. Ooh, this just looks nice. This, this these colors just look fantastic. Oh my, I am so happy. And, and let's just, let's, let's, this out here as well. There is an extra mag well. Now you're looking at that like, well, that's smaller than the mag well. That's because it's a katana mag well. So I can take this apart and switch out the magwells and use katana mags instead. I'm, there's a lot, we're gonna talk about this. We're, we're gonna, you know what, let's, um, let's go to the bench and let's talk about this and let's have some fun with it. Thank you so much. I, I, um, I, yeah, wordless, let's go. I had to cut that last portion a little bit short because my camera battery was dying. So we are jumping forward a little bit in time. I uh, want to touch back on some things. I actually have a letter here from 498 Nerf, uh, the creator of the Foxfire MBS that I have not read yet because I wanted to read it on camera for all of you. Uh, so let's see, Jangular. As a thank you for your positive impact you've had on the Nerf community, I've enclosed a light blue Foxfire Burst Blaster. This blaster is set up for full auto and is built with a two-stage OFP Riot cage. The first stage is running L MTB Hellcat motors and the second stage is running Michelle 2.0 motors. Both stages have containment crew cyclone flywheels. I shot it over my chronograph right before shipping out and got an average velocity of 186 FPS. I tried to match the Fabu Strike color scheme, but the teal filament I chose may have had a little too much green in it. Man, don't, uh, this looks amazing. This looks absolutely amazing. And uh, I, I, so I finished reading. I've also included a Katana magazine receiver with the blaster if you would ever like to retool it for use with the short dart loadout. I will. This blaster's modules separate by removing two screws that go into the receiver and then popping the module straight up. I've not had much luck with the worker gen 2 darts of this cage. I keep pulling the heads off, but cut down accufakes and waffle darts work just fine. Interesting. I'm going to have to see what's up with that. Again, I appreciate all the work you've put into the Nerf community and the positive attitude that you brought to it. We need more people in the community like you. Ben, 498 Nerf. That is... People make these comments like the... the work you put in for the Nerf community, things like that. And I, I don't know, I, I feel like I don't do all that much. Everyone else, all of you, the people who create stuff and make things and do builds and stuff, you're doing the good work. You're doing the cool stuff. I just get to share it. I just get to talk about it. And I, so I feel like privileged to be able to do so. So thank you. Uh, everyone honestly not just ben but everyone uh that that says things like that i i just want to make sure that make it known that i think the things that everyone else is doing are just like the coolest things so this this is super cool i i i, I so yesterday after the camera you know died and all of that i took this out put a battery in it and ran it over the crony so let's pop the results up there, but the results are in line with what Ben was saying in the around 180s, mid 180s or so, which is just so cool. A two stage, I didn't know what was running in the, the uh, cage itself outside of the fact that it was a two stage OFP setup. 
So it's interesting that it's Hellcats into Michelle 2.0s. Uh, so that's, that's definitely interesting. So I'm very excited to run this. I'm hoping I can get to a game this weekend that has a higher velocity cap. Um, let's, take, let's take a little bit of time and just kind of talk about this, the Foxfire, because I, um, after shooting it, man, Oh, wow. I, shooting it was like an experience because I, I did not expect the numbers to be that high. Maybe it's because I didn't look into exactly what to expect, but it's just like, oh, oh my. Uh, so let's, yeah, we're going to do a complete video breakdown on this, but I just want to share some initial thoughts because if I start talking now about all the details, this video is going to be long very very long and I don't want to make you sit through that so uh, real quick off the bat the grip feels nice in my hand again I have bigger hands it seems so I often get uh, the ridges here will hit into my palm which I've, I've just kind of adapted to but there's plenty of space for my fingers uh, my thumb grips in nicely that I actually really like the trigger pull and the uh rev trigger feel good the rev trigger i've i've generally not tried the extended like bobo style rev triggers but this doesn't interact with my other finger all too much it's not obtrusive so that's that's nice um i would love because i, I run cameras on everything i would love to see like picatinny rail across like the top portion of this as well as the back portion. Um, I get the idea of having this rounded and for my hand, it feels, feels decent. I, again, it could be interesting to have Picatinny rail here for people that want to try things like uh, grips and stuff like that. The extra mag holder here. It's interesting. I like the idea. But for me personally, I normally have my hand like in this area, my thumb up higher. So for me, it's a little bit uh, not intuitive. So I'm going to have to adjust to that. Maybe hold lower. I may like, honestly, I'm kind of like, maybe I just buy a bunch of other modules now that, that the, the Foxfire shop is up on Etsy which of course I'll have the link down below for that, but maybe I just buy the single stage front, see if I can do a mag well that doesn't have this. So if I want to run in like a competitive setting where, where I need to be tight and everything, and then like a, a semi-auto core. So that way I can have like everything and I can mix and match. However, like I, I really want to buy another one of these. And it's been a day to give you an idea how I feel about this. So, uh, I want to try this out. I want to try the Katana Core out and see how, or the Katana Magwell out and see how this goes. But I think we've, we've gone on a fair amount about this. But again, I just, I can't put things into words. I know that's what I'm supposed to be doing. It's what my job is, but, uh, I'm having a hard time right now as to how kind of, thankful I feel um so yeah definitely go check this stuff out go check out uh tattoo foam technician uh his stuff I am super excited for the Fabu Kronos build that we're working on that's going to take advantage of these I am also excited to take the the Foxfire out to a game and to finish or start our tournament strife build so there's a lot to be excited about and a lot to be thankful for. So thank you to everyone that continues to send things. I feel like we're doing this more and more often. And to that, I... Uh, thank you. I, I hope you enjoy these kinds of videos. Uh, though it just feels like me gushing for, for, I don't know, like 10 minutes. But here we are. So... I, I just love getting letters from people, like, and reading things that you have to say. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to go play with this and then start another video and get that out to you because we've got a lot to look forward to. So with that said, I'm out of here.